All right, uh, gonna make a short video on my idea for mounting a smart fuel controller onto a uh, standard Vexport monitor stand uh, for use in competitions. Um, when I saw the smart fuel controllers come out, um, I was pretty excited about them. It seems like it's gonna be a, a big step forward. Um, obviously, this is a regular brain. I have to wait until next fiscal year to, to order my brains. Um, but I was looking at it and it, the screw holes actually do mount up on the back, but only on one side. Okay. So you could, if you wanted to take a super simple route and just screw in screws into two holes and you'd be good. However, I wanted to make sure that I had something that was nice and secure. So what I designed was I designed this part. Yeah, let me use this one. I designed this part. Um, in Fusion 360, it's very simple. Um, it's got standoffs on each corner, uh, the holes in each corner mount up with a hole pattern on the back of the monitor mount. Um, I used heat set inserts to provide um, metal threading uh, to make sure that this is nice and secure. And the idea is, is that if you take 3 8 inch screws and mount them into the back of your uh, uh, smart controller um, probably want to use something like blue loctite i use this vibratite which is basically a blue loctite copy um, put a little vibratite or blue loctite on your thread before it goes in let it dry and then when you thread it in it'll actually make it adjustable um, i find on this brain um, i need to back one of the screws off a little bit in order for it to work okay um, I have this mounting plate mounted actually using the same holes that I have my monitor connector on. I'll get to that in a second. Um, and then a couple more screws going in through the back of that for the bottom set of screws. Okay, and the whole idea is, is that you got your brain, you have the screws going in the back, and you literally just line it up and press it down and slide it down. And you've got a good, sturdy mount for your brain, um, and yet it's easy to take off so that if you have a brain failure or a smart fuel controller failure, um, you're able to swap it out with a spare real quickly. Okay? Um, also, as part of this, um, I'm using a standard V5 battery, um, pretty obviously. Uh, again, screwed in battery clips through the visa holes. Uh, they actually line up nicely so that you can put the, uh, the battery mount, battery in the battery clips. Battery cables obviously nice and close. Use a uh, battery charger plugged in there and that way the battery is kind of acting like a UPS throughout your tournament. Um, and then the last piece is your Raspberry Pi. Um, I started thinking about this, thought about going down the path of designing a mount um, that would take some kind of a sleeve case and just allow you to snap it in. Um, and then I realized that I'm really just overthinking it. Um, I really like using these sleeve type cases. Uh, they print easily. They don't use a whole lot of filament. Um, they look nice. Uh, they, they work real well. Uh, as you can see, I'm still on the Raspberry Pi 3s. They actually work just fine. I don't have any reason to upgrade until these start dying. Um, and I've actually got a pretty good reserve of them. But I was overthinking it. And all I'm thinking I'm going to really end up doing is taking some of this heavy-duty Velcro-type um, adhesive back tape. It's called 3M Dual Lock. And put a piece on the back of the case. Put another key piece on my monitor stand and that way all I have to do is just plop it in if I have a Raspberry Pi go bad uh, which happens from time to time um, I can just swap it out I have I think about a half a dozen uh, backup Raspberry Pi 3B pluses uh, for that purpose okay um, Finally, uh, going back to the other side of the monitor mount, the monitor stand, this is actually my original piece that kind of made uh, setting up tournaments super easy. Um, it's a metal uh, visa mount 
uh, monitor quick release. And as you can see, up is pointing down. I actually mounted upside down so that the V, the mating piece that's on the back of the monitor, slips down and gravity kind of holds it in place. Um, and this literally makes mounting a monitor to my monitor stand a five second operation. Uh, super quick. I'm not unscrewing and screwing and you know having to worry about finding a screwdriver to mount the monitor to the stand and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's always just there and ready. And I have these same mounts on all of my monitors and on all of my monitor stands. And uh, again, it, it really makes things easy. I think these are like 10 bucks uh, and I'll put them in a link in the comments. Okay. So again, there's my setup. Uh, here's the part. I'll have a link to the printables uh, file uh, for you to do this. This is a real easy print. Um, you can use supports if you want only on the build plate um, but you don't really have to use supports um, i have another version that just uses embedded um, 830 seconds uh, nylock nuts um, so that you don't even need to worry about heat set inserts if you don't want to um, they snap in they aren't going to come loose and you know again uh, design this to make setup easy and quick and uh, not the pain that it can be sometimes okay and again all of all of links to these uh, in the comments for the video and uh, as well as a link on how to set the heat set inserts all right hope this helps hope this is uh somebody finds this useful useful and thanks a lot